of my poem is, Where is the Humanity? <clears throat> Imagine bombs getting blown up on your neighbor is your alarm clock. Imagine walking out of your house without knowing if it's even safe to water your plants. Imagine being 10 years old making sandcastles and getting your limbs blown apart. Imagine having the Berlin Wall in Palestine, dividing Palestinians on the outside living like hell and Israel on the inside living a dream. What, what Israel is doing to the Palestinians is what Hitler did to the Jews. This might be an imagination to you, but it's an, it's an everyday reality to my Palestinian brothers. Not knowing when their next meal is going to be, not knowing when the next time they'll see their own mother, not even knowing when the last time they're breathed, when they're going to take the last breath. An attempt of genocide is what I call it. No, they're the terrorists. No, we're the innocent ones, is what Israel screams after they just wiped out an entire Palestinian family. But we're the terrorists? See, I lived that life, so I'm about that life. I've seen things that no 17-year-old should ever see. I've seen things that nobody should ever see. So can you blame me for being so, for being so furious? See my blood, my Palestinian roots getting crumbled to dust? I wake up every morning and think about what I went through when I was recently out there. All those tear gas cans blinding me and my family every night, or seeing missiles getting blown up in, in midair, or those young innocent or old wrinkly lives taken one by one. 25, to, 25 years to life is what they give 10 year olds, locked up in concentration camps. Locked up, they won't let them out. Celebrating the 13, 14, 15 birthdays by being slaved and tortured, just what they call themselves, Palestinian. What Columbus and the English did to the Native Americans, is essentially what's happening out in Palestine. Getting our territory ripped out under our feet by tanks, missiles, and M16s. Maybe the cry from my grandmother might shake them up. Or maybe the screams from my grandfather right after they just, they just took his lifetime home for no reason. Sometimes I cry, I scream for them, but my words will never be heard. None of my Palestinian brothers or sisters' words will ever be heard. By the overpowering sounds of bombshells falling, or by the laughter of the soldiers that just hit that attack. My stomach turns as I know that they're helpless, that they're desperate, but yet they're still relentless and brave, and their souls are so powerful, I can feel it. Maybe it's just the Palestinian blood that I have in me. That's what's keeping me bonded with them from across the world. So the next time you think about saying, fuck my life, or when something bad happens, you say, oh, why me? No, you're lucky it's you. No, I'm lucky that we're all lucky that we're living the life that we're living. No matter how bad our life gets or how down we are about what we have to think about, oh, sorry. No matter how down our life gets or how bad we're feeling, we just have to think about how other people are living. We have to think about what we're going to do to make this world better. We need to find humanity. Wipe the dust off of it and start being humane again. That's it.